guys, I'm Claire. I'm one of the members of our drama board here to MC the first ever virtual open mic. We thank everybody who submitted to this uh, little video and we're very happy with the way it turned out. So yeah, it's a nice little way to keep ourselves connected, keep ourselves performing in these uh, new and changing times. A couple things before we get started. Make sure that you guys turn in your lettering forms by June 1st if you'd like to letter in theater this year. Also, uh, next Friday, June 5th, we are doing our virtual Vikies. So throughout that day, we will be posting all of our Vikies related things uh, so we can have a virtual end of the year ceremony this year. All that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into our first two acts. Our first acts are coming from Will McCann and Stu Smith. They're both performing songs for us this afternoon. I've given you sunlight, I've given you dirt, you've given me nothing but heartache and hurt. I'm begging you sweetly, I'm down on my knees, oh please grow for me. I've given you plant food and water to sip, I've given you potash. You've given me zip. Oh God, how I missed you. Oh pot, how you tease. Oh please grow for me. I've given you southern exposure to get you to thrive. I've pinched you back hard like I'm supposed to. You're barely alive. I've tried to at levels of moisture from desert to mud. I've given you heartaches and mineral supplements. What do you want from me, blood? Ow! Darn cactus. Darn thorns. Wait a minute. You opened up. I've given you sunlight. I've given you rain, looks like you're not happy, unless I open the vein. I'll give you a few drops, that'll appease, now please, oh please, grow for me. So I should say that uh, in case people don't know who I am, um, I'm going to be playing a little title fight song. It's called Crescent Street Depression, and it's like a nice going away song, and it goes like this. Place where and when the 
state lines are made Contrary to mistakes Peace with the dying in my sleep That's what's right for me Well the kids back home will leave To the riverbeds below Market Street Yeah. Thank you. It's my little my little bit. Bye bye. Alright, great job Will and Stuart. Our next two acts are going to be coming from Kira and Chloe, who will be also performing a song, and then Evan, who is performing a monologue. Hi, I'm Chloe. And I'm Kira, and we will be singing Who Will Love Me As I Am from Sideshow. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, so I wanted to do something for open mic, and I wasn't sure what to do. Then I, I was thinking, and a show that I miss quite a bit right now is A Midsummer Night's Dream, so I thought I would do my favorite monologue from that show. So here is Nick Bottom's death monologue from Pyramus and Thisbe. Sweet moon, I thank thee for thy sunny beams. I thank thee, moon, for shining now so bright, for it is by thy gracious golden glittering gleams I trust to take truest this be sight. <gasps> but stay, O oh spite, but mark, poor knight, what dreadful gold is here. Eyes, do you see? How can it be? Oh, dainty duck, oh dear. Thy mantle good, what stained with blood, a 
Brunchy furies fell, fates come, cut thread and thrum, quill, crush, conclude, and quell. Wherefore, nature, didst thou lion's frame, since lion vile hath deflowered? I mean devoured, my dear, who is, uh, oh no, who was the fairest dame that lived, that loved, that liked, that looked with cheer. Come, tears confound, out sore and wound. B -b -b what? Ah! The pap of Pyramus, I, that left pap, that left pap where heart doth hop. B -b 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 I am dead, thus I am fled. My soul is in the sky. Tongue, lose thy light. Moon, take thy flight now. Die, 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 oh, die. Oh, splash, 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 oh, splash, splash, I die. Thank you. Big round of applause for Kira, Chloe, and Evan there. Great job, guys. Thank you. Speaking of acting, if you guys want to learn how to act in school, sign up for our theater classes. It's the best way to get involved. Um, and maybe one day you'll be as good as Evan. And then Kevin Gregg, who is also performing a song for us this afternoon. Hey girl, you know you drive me crazy One look puts the rhythm in my hand Still I'll never understand why you hang around I see what's going down Cover up with makeup in the mirror To yourself it's never gonna happen again You cry alone and then he swears he loves you Do you feel like a man? When you push her around, do you feel better now? And she falls to the ground. Well, I'll tell you, my friend, one day this world's got to end. As your lies crumble down, a new life she has found. A pebble in the water makes a ripple effect. Every action in this world will bear a consequence. If you wait around forever, you will surely drown. I see what's going down. I see the way you go and say you're right again. Say you're right again. In my lecture, do you feel like a man? When you push her around, do you feel better now? And she falls to the ground. Well, I'll tell you, my friend, one day this world's got to end. As your lies crumble down, a new life she has found. Face down in the dirt, she said, this doesn't hurt. She said, I finally had enough. Face down in the dirt, she said, this doesn't hurt. She said, I finally had enough of one day. She will tell you that she has had enough. It's coming round again. Do you feel like a man when you push her around? Do you feel better now as she falls to the ground? Well, I'll tell you, my friend. One day this world's got to end As your lies crumble down A new life she has found Do you feel like a man When you push her around 
Do you feel better now? She falls to the ground. Well, I'll tell you, my friend, one day this world's got to end. As your lies crumble down, a new life she has found. Face down in the dirt, she said, this doesn't hurt. She said, I finally had enough. Wonderful performances by Kevin. Thank you guys for submitting. Um, next, we're going to have AJ, Joseph, and Tucker who have prepared a skit for us. And then after that, I'm going to perform a song on the ukulele. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Weekly News at Home Edition. My name is Jim Jameson, and join me here today is my co-host, Rick Roller. How are you doing today, Rick? Well, I'm just fine and dandy here, Jim, but let me just tell you, we have a show for you today, folks. Yes, we do, Rick. How about we take a look at our top story? How about that? Sure, Jim. Last night, police apprehended 13 criminals appearing to be part of an illegal toilet paper gambling ring. Ooh. Wait, 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 Jim, I, 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 Rick, are you, are you sure you read that right? I mean, I'm sure it wasn't some, like, uh, mafia or gang activity stuff, uh, <laughs> Yes, Jim, I did say that these felons have been illegally gambling away toilet paper, which is now reaching all high time and prices, making them one of the highest grossing products right now. Uh, is, is this guy serious right now? I mean, that is... The dumbest thing I have ever heard. Uh, no, don't get me wrong. Well, Jim, how about you tell that to the millions of Americans at home who do not have even a piece of toilet paper? How about you think about that? Huh? Oh, uh, I mean, I mean, when when you put it like that, I mean, it does sound bad, I guess. Well, Jim, I think that you need to to think a little bit more before you speak again, huh? All right, how about we take it over to our weatherman, Damien, here to tell you what the forecast today is going to look like. How about that, Damien? There are clouds in the sky. This is the best weather I could have ever asked for. This is amazing. It's a miracle. Clouds. Who would have thought? Back to you in the studio, Rick. Thank you, Damien. You did great. Man, I mean, he, he just pointed out the fact that, I, I mean, I, I don't know that the obvious fact that no, I'm not sky has clouds. Well, Jim, I think you're being a bit of a jerk right now. Damien is doing his best, and if that is not good enough for you, well, it's good enough for me, so shut up. Well, people need to know the actual... On to our next store, we have a special guest star and kitchen wizard, Ramsey Gordon. Here with us today, he's going to show us how to cook some food for ourselves while we're here at home. Let's get to him, shall we? Hi, Rick. Thank you. I'm Ramsey Gordon, and I'm going to teach you how to make toast today. So what you're going to need, get this, there's two simple ingredients. There's a toaster. I mean, like, no way, right? That's, you're, there's no way you're gonna need that, right? And some bread. Now, it doesn't matter what flavor of bread. I personally like honey wheat, but uh, you could just have plain or a uh, whole wheat. I don't care. And I don't think the toaster cares either. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to carefully, very carefully, undo this. I have no idea what this thing is called. I'm just going to call it a clip. You're going to have to undo the clip very carefully so it's going to rip the packaging. And then you're going to very carefully. You pull out one or two slices of bread. I personally like two. Now, you're going to open the door very carefully. And you're going to stick these two pieces of toast in the toaster. Very, very carefully. Pretty complicated, right? I know. I'm a, I'm a professional chef. I'm a professional chef. 
professional chef. So, that's... I know, I'm a professional chef. So, next, what you're gonna need to do is paint the knob. And I don't know which one I design yours, but on my solo one, you're gonna have to turn the knob. And I personally like mine first. Oh yeah! I'm just kidding, I'm having a little fun. I like my toast. And so, now what you're gonna do is, once it's done, it's gonna make a ding sound like this. And so, you're gonna take it out and be very careful because. So, once it's done, it's gonna make a dingy sound like so. And then, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the plate, open the door very carefully, and take out the slices of toast. Oh yeah, they should look like this. See? And, but be careful, when you take them out, they're gonna be hotter than Danny DeVito. That's gonna be all for me. Make sure to join me next week on the Food Channel, where I'm gonna teach you how to microwave soup. That's gonna be all. Wow, a real master of his craft, isn't he, Jim? He just warmed up some toast. Anyone, I mean, anyone, even a child, can do that. Not until he showed us, Jim. I am seriously going to quit if I have to deal with any of this nonsense any longer. Please tell me that our actual that our last story is actually relevant to our time. Well, actually, Jim, Damien is outside in a field today. Uh, the people at the studio thought it'd be nice to give him a little bit of a field trip. So he is going to go investigate a story that he wants to do on his own. Isn't that nice? Uh, take a little initiative. Uh, I, don't, I don't Let's just cut to him, shall we? <laughs> Are we on? Okay. Thank you, Richard. Um, today I'm going to get an exclusive interview with the ozone layer. Apparently it has been developing a hole. So we are just going to ask you a couple quick questions. Um, Mr. Ozone Layer, how does it feel to have a hole? Just, just a few minutes of your time, sir. It seems that Mr. Ozone Layer is not responding to you. Back to you today. Please, back to you in the studio, Richard. Oh, well, thank you, Damien. You did your hardest, didn't you? The hole. In the ozone layer was found in 1985, Rick. You are covering news from the same time that Return of the Jedi came out. You, you seem a little stressed, Jim. How about uh, you take a break, maybe have some breakfast. Here, I'll, I'll go and fix you up some toast. I don't want a piece of toast, Rick. I am leaving now, and there I, ca I can't deal with this anymore. Well, it seems that's all the time we have today, folks. I'm Rick Roller, and this was the weekly update at home edition. Sign off. Goodbye. <laughs>
Big round of applause for AJ Joseph and Tucker on that great skit. Before we get into our next act, uh, just a reminder, if you want to learn anything about our award-winning theater company, just visit www.lvtheater.com and all the information is on there. So with that being said, our next two acts are coming from Jenna and Declan. Jenna will be performing a monologue for us and Declan will be dancing. So here they are. Oh, just irritable bowel syndrome. I had to have a colonoscopy even though I'm only 10. It was sad. And I have insomnia. Sometimes I lie in bed all night just waiting to fall asleep and then it never happens. And then I just have to get out of bed and go to school in the morning as if everything is normal, except it's not because I didn't sleep at all the night before. It's scary. And then sometimes I fall asleep in class the next day. It's so embarrassing. And the teacher gets mad at me. She's like, Dory, don't fall asleep in class because she thinks I'm falling asleep because I'm bored, but I'm not. I have a medical condition. <laughs> I also have a fair amount of psychiatric problems. Like I take Kimbalta, Bisporina, and Geodon for depression slash anxiety. <laughs> also, I have very mild ADHD, but the doctor says I don't need to take medication for that, but I wish I did because I like taking medication. <sighs> oh, I also pick all the skin off of my thumbs because of anxiety. So I have like no skin left on my thumbs. Do you wanna see? No, no, never mind. My mom says I should stop showing people anyways. <laughs> I also had 14 teeth pulled. Mm. I had two rows of teeth at one point. When I ate mashed potatoes, I would have to spit them out because they were so bloody because my mouth was so bloody. <laughs> oh. uh, and that's it, I guess. Those are all my problems. Thank you, Jenna and Declan, for submitting those great acts. Big round of applause from the audience there. Moving on to our next two acts, we have Michael Mansoor performing a song with his guitar, and then Francesca performing a monologue for us.
I'm going to always want to put something on my feet that makes it feel like I'm on fire. People are always putting stuff above my head too and putting it on a shelf that I can't reach. I really want to strangle each and every tall person. But to do so, I would need a stepladder. Thank you, Michael and Francesca, for those awesome acts. Great job, guys. Thank you for submitting. Up next, we have Clay on piano and then Angel on guitar.
Thank you, Clay and Angel, for submitting. Those were great acts. Our final act of the night is brought to us by our Drama Boosters. They're doing a farewell to our seniors. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight. We're glad that we could um, bring a little bit of normalcy back to your lives with an open mic online. Um, thank you to everyone who submitted. These were great acts, and we hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Thank you.